Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys um, what I'm working on. I already sent some out and I forgot to fill them, so I want to share with you guys this one. Um, I got these little bags at Dollar Tree. They were three for a dollar. Super cute. Um, what I'm doing is, just in case I don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters, because um, if you guys have been following me for a while, last year I showed a haul video of what I got for the treat bags this year. So I have a full bin of treats. So if I don't get any trick-or-treaters, I understand because with everything going on. But I don't want, there's some things like the stamps and there's some little like um slime and stuff that's already been there a year. I always open them and test them out to make sure. But, you know, I don't want to leave them for two years. So I'm trying to give some of the kids in my life little goodie bags. I've mailed some out to friends that are out of state. I'm working on this one right now. The bag is not that big, but I kind of want to stuff it. I don't want to give like a huge bag and have like little treats in there. So the first item I'm going to put in there is this little wand. I don't know where I got this from. I think my friend Gigi actually gave them to me. Because um, anything left over or anything Halloween that they see on sale, everyone gets me for Christmas and my birthday. So um, the only thing I don't like having prices on things, so... I'm gonna get this little spider, cover the price up. I don't know. It's just how I was raised. It's tacky for me, so I can't do that. So, yeah, that's the first thing added to the bag. I got this little witch because this is for a, a toddler. So, I have um, for some kids, I did get the little ceramic um, figurines to paint, but she's too little still. So, I got this one. It's like a little wooden. Um, I don't even know what it's called. But it has a little witch in it. So cute. Some little markers. This is the the one that makes it the bag too small because it starts whiting. Making it too wide. But it's fine. I'm okay with it. Uh, the next item I got is this little um, Halloween multi-pack. I think this is from Target. These are things that I've had left over as well that I thought would be cute for starting kids. So um, I also got these little sticker packs. It's for a girl, so you could always use unicorns. It doesn't have to necessarily be just Halloween. And I got these little ones. Again, she's a baby, so I don't want to give her too, too many stickers because she's not really going to play with that. Um, I have this little tiara with little stars. Um, I'm including this little bag that I've had for a while um I had this stuff in there so that's why it's a little wrinkly but I'm including some little balloons that I have left over from a party that I did for my friend I need to show the the crafts I did for that party too I never did a video for it and I love everything how they came out see like these things I don't want to wait too long so they're still good it still works so I want to already start giving those out there's this little puppet guy, finger puppet. This little spider. I'm also including some like things I got for decoration, but I have a lot of stuff, so I might as well just pass it on. So candy corn bracelets. I got this, I think, from Oriental Trading. Their their booklet wasn't that big t this year, and I was so sad, but I understand. This little ring. This was from Dollar Tree. This little kaleidoscope. I have most of these on in that video of my haul. These are actually from Dollar Tree. Um, I got these. I had these left over from the the party I did. Um, and I just added a sticker on top to make it Halloween. It still has bubbles. It still works. I got um these little teeth. Again, these things I'm giving to these kids because they know me personally. They, I don't want to give that out this year because it's not sanitar sanitary right now. Um, this little stamp is another reason I want to give these out because these dry out. And that's good for that bag. Putting that in there. And then I do want to want to include some candy, of course. 
I wanted some spooky candy from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree usually has like the fun looking ones. They might not taste the greatest, but they look really cool. But I didn't really see that many this year. And lastly, um, one of my friends was so kind enough to donate these little bowls for me. I added the, the baggies and I have so much car stock. So I added a little backing to it and some confetti to make it festive. But these bowls are so cute. Let me show you. She's just starting out. Um, I'll include her Instagram below so you guys can check her out. Little clips, but they're so pretty. She's so talented. And I don't even know what material this is. It's like a fake leather, I think. I don't even know, it's so cute. So I also included like a little message on the back in case, in case anyone wants to check her out. And that's her Instagram. But yeah, it's super cute. I'm so grateful to her. This was so kind. Well, this is the first little treat bag that I have for you guys. This is what it looks like. It's really stuffed. And there's a tea in there. But yeah, I'm so excited to give these out. I'm gonna add like little um, like string and uh, tissue paper, of course. But this is my first little bag. Hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you guys some ideas um, for the little kids that you have around you. Um, make this time a little festive for them. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my other treat bags once I get to do those. Okay, bye.